In this video, we will be doing an overview of the hardware and components of VisiPitch. Every VisiPitch will come with the following items. A VisiPitch external module with power cord, a USB cable A to B, a USB security key, a speaker with cable, a shared dynamic handle microphone and XLR cable, headphones, two RCA female to fourth inch phono male adapters, a VisiPitch hardware and installation manual, a software installation disk with the software, the required device drivers, and a PDF of the software instruction manual, and a speech product software installation instructions. Here you can see the front panel of the device. At the top left, you will have your channel 1 input connector, which is a female XLR type and phono connector. To the right of that, you will have the gain control for the channel 1 input. Below, you will have the same setup for channel 2 with the XLR and phono type connector on the left and the gain control for that channel on the right. Between those connectors, you will have the voice range profile mode button, which routes the channel 1 microphone signal to both input channels at two different precisely calibrated input levels. Below that, you will have the power indicator light, which will be on when the device is powered on. To the bottom left of that, you will have the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone connector and to the right of that you will have the volume control for either the headphones or the speaker. Next we will look at the back of the device. At the top right you will see your line connector which is a RCA type phono jack connector for the line level output from channel 1. The front panel volume knob does not control the output level of this connector. Below that you will see the speaker connector which is a RCA type phono jack connector for the external speaker from channel 1 and channel 2. Take note that the front panel volume knob controls the output level of this connector. Connect the speaker to this output. Below that, you will see the USB-A connector, which connects the VisiPitch to your computer. To the left of that, you will see the power switch for the unit, and below that, you will see the medical grade AC power supply. On the back of the device, you will also find your serial number, regulatory information, and the service ID to be used when contacting service. Here we can see the wiring diagram for the VisiPitch connected to the computer. At the top right you will see that the VisiPitch is connected to power via the power cord connected to the AC input. To the left of that you have the microphone connected to either channel 1 or channel 2. And then you have the VisiPitch connected to the computer via the USB cable. The headphones or speakers will then be connected depending on the situation to either the headphone input or the speaker input. For additional information on hardware, software, precautions, or components, please check the instructions for use as well as the hardware and installation instructions provided with VisiPitch.